It's dangerous! Get away from there! But I'm so close! Just a bit more! Got it! Whoa! Ah! Oh! Hold it! Hold it! Oh! Ranger Leo speaking. Hero? Oops, sorry about that. Hi, Junior Ranger Peo. What's up? Hola, Leo. Look at my llama. Huh? Okay, it's not exactly mine. I'm taking care of my cousin's pet llama, Spitz. But I don't know anything about llamas. Ooh, llamas. Don't worry, Peo. We're here to help. Did someone say llamas? Hey, Katie. Peo wants to learn more about llamas. He's helping to care for one. I've just sent you its photo. Ah, it's adorable. I can't wait to find out more about it. Come on up, Leo. The computer is ready to go. Right behind you, Katie. Just leave it to us, Peo. I'll call you in a bit. Ranger out. Let's see. There it is, the llama. Llamas are herbivores. That means they eat only plants. After a llama chews its food, it swallows it, then brings the food back up to its mouth and chews it more before it swallows it again. Llamas are strong. They can endure harsh conditions like extreme temperatures and they need little water. Llamas are pack animals, animals that help humans transport goods. However, if the load is too heavy, these stubborn animals may refuse to move and lie down on the ground. That must be Peo, right on time. Hey, Peo. Leo, help! Huh? What's wrong? I tried to ride Spitz, and now I can't get down. Ah! Where are you going, Spitz? Stop! Whoa! Ah! He's not stopping, Leo. What do I do? It's dangerous! Oh, no! Hang in there, Peo. We'll be right over. Ranger, out. I got his location. Awesome work, Katie. Let's go. Ah! 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 Stop! Ah! Ah! How do we stop a llama? By adding more weight on its back. Hero, I need you to land on Spitz. Ah! Ah! They're not heavy enough. Ah! Leo, we need you! Got it! Oh, oh, oh. Wait, it's not working, ah! Katie! We're all gonna burn! Stop right there! Huh? Ranger, Ranger Rocky! Hello, Junior Rangers! Is everything alright? You saved us! Why is everyone riding a llama? I was trying to take Spitz to see my favorite flowers. I'm helping my cousin to take care of him. And we were trying to stop Spitz because he went out of control. Peo couldn't get down. Careful now. Thanks, Ranger Rocky. You're welcome. He's one cute llama. Spitz is so not cute. I was wrong. Humans and llamas can never be friends. He doesn't listen. He's dangerous. Oh, and he's Spitz. Ew. Ew. Yeah. Don't be so quick to judge, Peo. Llamas are usually quiet and gentle. They only spit when they're feeling threatened or irritated, and it's mostly directed at other llamas. Humans and llamas can certainly be friends. In fact, llamas are a huge help to us. Not only do they transport goods, they also guard farm animals like sheep. Their dried poop can also be used as fuel or fertilizer. Have you tried to befriend him, Peo? talk about it, but then I got carried away. Literally. <sighs> I'm sorry I said that, Speeds. <gasps> Not again! Cheer up, Peo. Just leave it to us. We'll help you befriend Spitz. Ah, uh, friendships are beautiful. That sounds like a wonderful idea, Junior Rangers. See you around. <gasps> Huh? Peo, I think Spitz is hungry. <gasps> of course, food. Pico loves it when I feed him his favorite berries. 
I just have to feed Spitz his favorite food. What's your favorite food, Spitz? Tacos? Cupcakes? Pancakes? <laughs> Spitz is an herbivore, Teo. He eats plants. Plants? I have plants in my bag. Here, Spitz. Oh, no. Not again. Not the face. Not the face. <gasps> He's eating it. Spitz is eating my plant. He accepted my gift. We're friends now. Congratulations, Peo. Do you want some more? Oh, no. This is impossible. I'm all out of plants. No. Spitz, come back. Calm down, Peo. I think Spitz likes to eat that plant. All we have to do is find more of it. Let's split up and search. Of course. Wait for me, Spitz. We're going to be best buddies after all. Did you guys find it? No, nope. neither did I. Over here, guys! I found it! <gasps> Peo, it's dangerous! Get away from there! <sighs> but I'm so close! Just a bit more! Got it! Whoa! Ah! Peo! Huh? Speeds! You saved me! Peo, are you all right? I sure am! Speeds saved me! Oh, huh. I guess he just wanted to save the plant. Huh? <gasps> Aww. You did it, Peo. You're friends now. Yay! Now let's go see my favorite flowers together. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hi, Junior Ranger Kyle. Hey, Leo. Well, I found a bird, and I can't quite figure it out. It's a little furry and has a long, thin beak. But guess what? It has no wings. Here, I took a photo of it. A bird with no wings? That's odd. Sure is. I found it circling around the same place last night, poking the ground with its beak. And it was screeching loudly. I think it might have lost something. That sounds like a real mystery. I can look for more information about the bird on the computer. Great. Then we'll head over to help you solve the mystery, Kyle. Cool. I'll share my location in New Zealand. See you both in a bit. Ranger out. Ranger out. All right, let's go find out more about this mysterious bird. It seems the mystery bird is a kiwi. Kiwi? Like the kiwi fruit? Do they share the same name because they're both furry? That's actually not fur on the kiwi bird, but thin hair like feathers. Cool. And does it really not have wings? No, it does have wings. Tiny ones that are hidden under its feathers. They're too small to help the kiwi fly, though, so it gets around by walking on the ground instead. So the bird that Kyle found is a kiwi. That's one mystery solved. All we have left is to figure out what it lost. Let's head to New Zealand to help the kiwi. Oh, it looks like paw prints. They look so big. There's a whole trail of them. Three eggs, four eggs. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. Hello, Junior Rangers. Welcome to New Zealand. Cool stilts, Ranger Rocky. What were you doing up there? I was just making sure those eggs are safe. There have been reports of missing eggs from birds' nests. Oh, no. Oh, yes. But no worries, Junior Rangers. I'm on the case. We're here to help Kyle with a kiwi who seems to have lost something, too. Ah, kiwis are fascinating birds. Unlike most birds, they dig burrows instead of building nests in the trees. And they are the only birds in the world with nostrils at the end of their long beaks. They're super sniffers. Exactly. Kiwis use their super nose to find worms and bugs in the ground to eat. They like eating seeds and grubs, too. I better get back to work. Those eggs aren't going to count themselves. Good luck, Junior Rangers. Bye, Bye Junior Rocky. We better get to work, too. What are you doing up there? Oh, hello, guys. I figured it out. This little bird probably lost its home, so I built it a new one. Do you like your new nest? Oh, do you not like it? That's a kiwi, Kyle. Kiwis don't live in nests in the trees. They live in burrows on the ground. Oh, a kiwi? Sorry, kiwi. I didn't know you lived in a burrow. 
It's searching again. What could it be searching for? That's what we're here to solve. The mystery of the kooky kiwi. It brought us to its burrow. We should search its home for clues. I'm on it. Looks like your standard burrow here. Dark, cozy, burrowy. Ha! <laughs> What's this? A clue. It looks like fur. Let's check if it belongs to the kiwi. Hmm. It doesn't look like a match. Yes. It's a different color, which means... The kiwi has a jacket that's a different color? And the kiwi's looking for it? No, Kyle. Kiwis don't wear jackets. It means the fur in the burrow belongs to another animal. An intruder. You're right, Katie. That makes more sense. But who could the intruder be? <laughs> what did you find, Hero? Paw prints. Kiwis don't leave such prints. They must belong to the intruder. Time to find out who this intruder is. I sent you a photo of the paw prints, Katie. A stoat? Stoats are mischievous animals that tend to disturb birds, particularly those living on the ground. There's more of them over here. Come on, let's follow the prints. Hopefully they'll lead us to the stoat. Over there, a stoat. It's the same color as the fur we found in the kiwi's burrow. Is it rolling an egg around? So that's what the kiwi is looking for, her egg. <laughs> Hero. Woohoo! Stoat chase. Stop right there. Huh? Where is everyone? Whoa, uh, excuse me. Ah! Come here. Wait a second. Where's the egg? Where's Hero? Over there. Got it. Phew. We did it. We found what the kiwi was looking for. Here you go, kiwi. Mystery solved. Mission accomplished, Detective Katie. <gasps> Hero? Excellent save, Leo. These are Easter eggs, Hero. They're eggs that have been painted. We celebrate Easter with them. I know what we can do with the eggs, Katie. Let's have an Easter egg hunt for Hero. We can hide the eggs and Hero will find them. That sounds exciting, Leo. Hi, Junior Ranger Kyle. Happy Easter. What are you up to today? Hi, Leo. Happy Easter to you too. I'm on an Easter egg hunt and look what I found in the bush. It's a giant Easter egg. It's painted green, and it's still warm. Whoa, it's almost as big as your face, Kyle. I know, right? What bird could have laid such a huge egg? Could it be a giant chicken? I don't think there are giant chickens, Kyle, but I can look for more information on my computer. Cool, while you search for more information, I'll search for more Easter eggs. Ranger out. There it is. The egg doesn't belong to a giant chicken. It belongs to an emu. An emu. That's right. Emus are the second largest birds in the world after the ostriches. While their eggs are smaller than the ostrich, an emu egg is about eight times the size of a chicken egg. By the way, it wasn't painted green. So nobody painted it? It's supposed to be green? That's right. Like the ostriches, emus are flightless birds that live on the ground. Because of their large size, their wings are too small and weak for them to fly. Their nests are found on the ground where they keep their eggs warm. Hi, Kyle. Hey, Leo. Look, I found another egg. I'm so going to win the egg hunt this year. Looks like you're having a blast at the hunt, Kyle. We have some information about the giant egg you found. It's not an Easter egg, it's an emu's egg. What? An emu's egg? That's right, and it's not painted green. It is green, and we think the emu egg was separated from its nest. We have to return the egg to its parents immediately. But I don't see any nests around here. Send us your location, Kyle. 
We'll be right over to help. And try to keep the egg warm. On it. Ranger out. Ranger out. Hey, guys. Hi, Kyle. Sorry you had to cut your Easter egg hunt short. Where did you put the emu egg? It's right here. Safe and warm. That's the emu's egg? I got a little bored waiting for you guys. And I had some paint left over. It's Easter. I thought it'd be fun. What do you think? I think it's more important that we get the egg safely back to its nest. Guys, did you hear that? Could that be an emu? Wait for us, Kyle. Could they be looking for their egg? I'll go get it, Katie. Be careful, Leo. I really hope it's theirs. Hi there. Are you looking for this? Uh, wait, come back. What happened? The emus don't recognize the egg because of all the paint. There's no time to waste. We need to catch up to them. Jetpack activate. I'm right behind you, Leo. I have an idea. Surely they'll recognize their egg now. Good thinking, Leo. Woohoo! Best Easter ever! Look, emus! I got the paint off! It's a green emu egg. They're going too fast to look at the egg. Who's going too fast? Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. Why are you chasing after the emus, Junior Rangers? We're trying to return an egg to them, but we scared them off instead. Chasing after them might not be the best solution, Leo. You see, emus have long, powerful legs that allow them to travel great distances. Sometimes they go up to a speed of 50 kilometers an hour. How else can we get their attention, Ranger Rocky? Emus are curious animals. A shiny object will definitely get their attention. Hey, Kyle, I think your ATV could use a wash. Uh, what? Wow, I didn't know my ATV could sparkle like that. Let's hope it's shiny enough to attract the emus. Why aren't they here yet? Where could the emus be? Be patient, Junior Rangers. I have a feeling they are very nearby. <gasps> My shiny ATV works. Great plan, Leo. Oh, and they see the egg. Yes, it is their egg. We did it. We returned the egg to them. Mommy Emu must be really happy to be sitting on her egg and keeping it warm again. Actually, Kyle, it is the male emu that keeps the eggs warm. Oh, that's a good dad. So, do you think I'll be able to get my ATV back? <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad we managed to reunite the egg with the emus. <laughs> oh, hi, Junior Ranger Farah. Hi, Leo. I've got some amazing news. I discovered a unicorn. Wow, a real-life unicorn? Unicorns aren't real, but it's right here in front of me. Here, I'll send you a photo. Oh, it does have a horn on its head, just like a unicorn. Hmm, there's only one way to be sure. Let's check the computer. Right behind you, Katie. Meanwhile, Farah, don't lose sight of that unicorn. Roger that, Leo. Ranger out! This will be the most amazing discovery. I'm not gonna lose it. I lost it. Oh no, where did it go? Unicorn, where are you? Come out, come out, wherever you are. Hmm, I've got a sinking feeling. Ah, quicksand! Whew! Oh no, more 
Quicksand! In times like this, check the Junior Ranger handbook. Quacking? No. Quails? Not quite. Where's Quicksand? The unicorn! Huh? Two horns? Hmm. It's not a unicorn. It's an Arabian oryx. Oh, it has two horns, not one. That's right, Leo. We simply have to look at it from a different angle. The Arabian oryx was almost extinct, but it was saved in captivity and brought back into the wild. Its long, straight horns can grow to about 70 centimeters long. They use their horns to protect themselves and defend their homes. We should tell Farah it's not a unicorn. You want me to hold your horns? All right. Ah! Oof. Thank you, two-horned unicorn. Now, where's my... My handbook! No! Wait! My book! <gasps> my dirt bike! My book! My dirt bike! Leo, it's an emergency! I need help! What's wrong, Farah? Are you okay? I'm okay, but my dirt bike is not! It's stuck in quicksand! Quicksand? We'll be right over to help you get it out, Farah! Ranger, out! Let's go, Katie. Bara is trapped in the desert. My dirt bike! I thought I'd lost you. Thank you so much. No problem, Bara. Now I have to go get my handbook back. Your handbook? Yeah, the two-horn unicorn. You mean the Arabian Oryx. Oh, so that's what it is. The Arabian Oryx left with my handbook. It must be long gone by now. Don't worry, Farah. We'll help you get it back. Maybe Hero can find its scent. <laughs> and I'll scan the horizon with my binoculars. Huh? Ranger Rocky. Ranger Rocky? Hello, Junior Rangers. What are you Rangers doing in the middle of the desert? An Arabian Oryx ran off with Farah's handbook, and we can't find it. Do you know anything that might help, Ranger Rocky? An Arabian oryx travels long distances in search of food and water, but they can survive without water for many days, weeks even. It is said that an Arabian oryx can smell rain from far away. Once it detects the scent of rain, it will travel towards it in search of the fresh grass that grows because of the rainfall. Hmm, rainfall? I can check the weather on my tablet. Rain clouds are gathering over there! Then that must be where the Oryx is heading. Thanks, Ranger Rocky. Let's go. Wait for me, Handbook. I'm coming for you! Good luck, Junior Rangers. <laughs> it's getting cold. And dark. And creepy. Did you see that? What? I don't see anything. But it was right there! There it is again! Where? There! G -g -g ghost <laughs> But ghosts aren't real. Hmm. I don't think it's a ghost either. Let's get closer to check it out. Now, what do we have under here? My handbook! Be careful, Farah. I'll get it for you. Pardon me, Arabian Oryx. Just have to get this for my friend. Got it. Yay, my handbook! Thanks, guys! I'm soaring just like a <gasps> bird! Whoa! Ah! Uh, I'm fine, Hero. Hey, Katie. I'm okay. <laughs> I'm glad you are, Leo. But this is Kyle. Hey, Junior Ranger Kyle. I found a bird and guess what? He forgot how to fly. 
I think he really wants to join the other birds in the sky. So I wanted to teach him how to fly, and I was hoping that you and Katie could come over to Codfish Island in New Zealand to help me. New Zealand? Sure. Awesome. Here's a photo of the bird. Ranger out. Ranger out. Wow, look at that bird. Let's send the photo to Katie. Maybe she knows more about him. Are you there, Katie? Hi, Leo. Can you find more information about the bird? I'm already on it. Did you find anything about the bird? Um, most, Leo. There it is. The kakapo. It's also known as the owl parrot. That's because the kakapo looks a bit like an owl. I see. So Kyle found a kakapo that forgot how to fly. Actually, not only is the kakapo the heaviest parrot in the world, it's also the only parrot in the world that doesn't fly. Kakapos live on the ground. So he can't fly, but he wants to join other birds in the sky? Let's head to New Zealand immediately to see how we can help. Huh? What's that sound? <laughs> Ranger Rocky! Welcome to New Zealand, Junior Rangers. I was hoping to find female kakapos by luring them with the kakapos mating call. There are very few kakapos left. There used to be a lot of kakapos in New Zealand, but when other animals like cats, ferrets, and weasels were brought to the islands, the kakapos no longer lived in peace. There are now less than 250 kakapos left in the world. To save the remaining kakapos, all of them were moved to three small islands in New Zealand where they are protected. The main island is Codfish Island. Good luck, Junior Rangers! Bye, Ranger Rocky! Let's go find Kyle on Codfish Island! Glad you made it. I can really use your help. I'm teaching him how to fly. I don't think that's going to work, Kyle. That's a kakapo, one of the heaviest parrots in the world. His wings are too small to carry his heavy body. Kakapo? Ah, did you hear that, little buddy? You can't fly. Poor kakapo. I guess he just wants to fly like the other birds. There must be a way we can help him. Are you sure about this, Katie? Done. Now let's give it a try. Jetpack, activate! Whoa! Look at him go! Hmm, it looks like the kakapo doesn't know how to control the jetpack. That could be a problem. <gasps> we have to save the kakapo before he gets hurt! Jetpack, activate! Uh, I can't reach him! The kakapo might crash into a tree! We need to stop the jetpack. Kyle, use your boomerang to hit the off switch. I'm on it. Get ready to catch. Just got to hit that button. Oh, no. Gotcha. Good work, guys. I guess we need to think of something else if we want to help him fly, Katie. Great catch, Leo. Thanks, Kyle. That aim was perfect. Well, I couldn't have done it without my boomerang. Oh, where is my boomerang? Did somebody drop this? Ranger Rocky! Hello, Junior Rangers. What are you up to now? We're trying to teach a kakapo to fly. I'm afraid that won't work, Leo. All the kakapos have lost their flying ability a long time ago. So, where is this kakapo? <gasps> We had him try on Hero's jetpack, but it went out of control. The kakapo was afraid of us because he thinks we'll hurt him. It's okay, Katie. We'll make it right. We have to be very careful. Hero. Did you see that, Junior Rangers? The kakapo may not be able to fly, but he sure can run and climb trees. I'm so sorry I made you try on the jetpack. I did it because I thought it would help you fly. I guess we just need to accept that kakapos don't belong in the air anymore. 
You're right, Kyle. We should accept that Kakapos can't fly. But that doesn't mean they don't have other strengths. <laughs> Ready to show them what you've got? <laughs> On your mark, get set, go! Woohoo! You can do it! That was an amazing race! Let's hope the Kakapo lives happily on the ground from now on. Hit subscribe and click the like icon.